<laughs> That's right, this big spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity! It really handle jump scares that well? Boom. <laughs> ah, come on, that wasn't even scary. That <laughs> should we choose? Hmm, not sure. Let's try this out. Aww. Don't worry, Kangle, I'll get it for you! <laughs> oh, that's the scary door. Uh, where are we? I wonder what this thing is. My name is Baron Theodore Mildenhall. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember. Although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, but not quite an animal. Something unholy, something evil. I took it upon myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling, this inescapable dread. I was wrong. You know, I'm starting to think... Tuesday, December 4th. Although I had shot the creature multiple times in its vitals, and severed its head to keep as a prize on my wall. My troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute, and when I looked back, the body was gone. The creature was not dead, and it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. If anyone is listening to this, all I ask of you is one thing. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. Wow. This is some rather inconvenient lore placement. I got it! And this is some rather inconvenient darkness. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? Oh god, there is a fly. And... gotcha! I think I got him. I can't see my hands. I'm sorry, could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. Tommy! I think this might be the creature from the tapes! You look beautiful, honey. Huh? Oh, yeah! Prepare for takeoff, cause this boat is going up! Huh? That's not up. That's not up at all! Why are we going up? up! From one. Oh, Zubel, Zubel, Zubel. Making adventures is my art! It's all I exist to do, all I'm good at. And, uh... What you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> That'd be... Uh, whose therapy session is this again? Oh yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your behavioral issues! Or a seller of some kind. Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Jumping at every shadow, every noise, 
I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. Please don't come alive. Okay, I won't. Stay behind me. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. Well, that wasn't so bad. Which is what I would be saying if I didn't know that the creature was actually one of God's angels. What? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the Hall of the Damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. Now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? I hope you're ready, because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Try going fast. Wait, Pommy! souls are attracted to living things, just want a vessel to be able to leave with. <laughs> <laughs>